this is all making me think about your recent book on incompetent leaders. And I'm curious, um, you know, what, what are leaders doing wrong today that you're seeing? Well, I think, you know, almost the, 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 the main thing they're doing wrong is getting promoted to leadership roles when they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's not their fault. It's the fault of those who put them there. Um, you know, I think the fundamental kind of a, um, breakthrough moment in leadership will come when we identify individuals with the best qualities to be leaders mm -hmm. and stop being fooled by those who seem more competent than they actually are. And I think, you know, where coaching and leadership development is today, in, in, in many ways, is sort of trying to fix the issues that could have been avoided or minimized in the first place. Mm -hmm. We will see coaching elevated to the next level when we actually have people with potential in the first place. I'm curious about the reception of the book and, you know, how, how's your audience responding to you? So, you know, the book has a very strong title, Why Do So Many Incompetent Men Become Leaders? Mm -hmm. And so it's in a way a double-edged sword. People love or hate the book without actually reading it, you know, so they have strong opinions and it's almost like a projective test that enables people to uh, display their attitudes. Yeah. Uh, having said that, people who did read it, I think appreciate that it's an attempt to provide a different um, explanation mm -hmm. for the gender gap in leadership emergence and leadership effectiveness. And the fundamental point that I make is that unless we acknowledge that most of the current leaders are not just male but also incompetent, we won't fix our leadership issues and we're actually going to ask women to behave more like incompetent men and that doesn't solve the issue, yeah. right? So. Fundamentally, I'm trying to argue for a more evidence-based approach to selecting and improving leaders, mm -hmm. and gender is a conflated or confounded variable. But really, the point should be to focus on quality, not on gender. Fantastic.